Big news breaking out of Tesla. The upcoming Model 2 could cost less than a brand new iPhone, yet offer more intelligence than most high-end cars. But insiders say the real story isn't just the price tag. Elon Musk is taking a bold step that could give Tesla a massive edge in AI and in-car technology. And this move may explain why the auto industry is suddenly on edge. Rumors are swirling about what's being built behind the scenes. And it's not just about cars anymore. So how could this shake up what you drive? Or even what's in your pocket next year? And is Apple prepared for what's coming? Let's dig into it. You're watching Auto Gear Shift, your go-to for sharp no-fluff updates on EVs and the tech that drives them. How could Musk's Samsung deal supercharge Tesla Model 2? A key part of the answer lies in Elon Musk's $16.5 billion chip deal with Samsung, recently confirmed and described by Musk as hard to overstate in strategic importance. This isn't just a supply agreement. It's a cornerstone in Tesla's plan to vertically integrate the brain behind Model 2, the next-generation AI6 chip. And what has truly turned heads? Musk isn't delegating this project. He's personally stepping in to oversee production at Samsung's new chip facility in Taylor, Texas. I will walk the line personally to accelerate the pace of progress, Musk said on X. And the fab is conveniently located not far from my house. This hands-on involvement isn't surprising for longtime Musk followers. After all, he famously slept on the Fremont factory floor during the grueling Model 3 ramp-up. But what makes this move historic is that Tesla is stepping into a domain long dominated by tech giants like Apple and NVIDIA, custom chip production at scale. By embedding full-stack AI capabilities into the Model 2 at the silicon level, Tesla aims to unlock advanced autonomy, edge AI performance, and cost efficiencies that no other automaker can match. The AI6 chip, co-designed by Tesla and fabricated by Samsung, will power not just self-driving features, but also integrate Tesla's new in-car voice assistant, Grok, an XAI-powered system designed to interact like a human passenger. Tesla has already soft-launched Grok in its current vehicles, and early details suggest it's been tailored with natural speech, friendly tone, and contextual awareness that outpaces legacy assistants like Siri or Alexa. Musk emphasized that the partnership with Samsung isn't superficial. In a video call with Samsung's chairman and senior leadership, Musk outlined exactly what a real partnership would entail. Shared expectations, extreme standards, and a relentless pace. Industry insiders immediately noted how rare it is for a tech founder to embed themselves so deeply into a supplier relationship, a move that speaks volumes about how pivotal the Model 2 is to Tesla's future. For Tesla, chip manufacturing is still a frontier. While the company has mass-produced vehicles for years, building chips in-house, especially next-gen AI silicon, marks a new era of vertical integration. According to SK Securities, the AI6 chip could enter production as early as 2027, following Tesla's rollout of AI5 chips in late 2026. Renowned analyst Ming-Chi Kuo even speculated that this Tesla-Samsung collaboration could shift the power balance in the global chip industry, especially if it helps Tesla scale the Model 2 to millions of units per year. And that's the goal. The Model 2 isn't just an affordable EV. It's Tesla's mass market play, designed to take the fight to both gas-powered compact cars and budget EVs from China. Achieving this means shaving costs without compromising performance. That's where the AI6 chip and Grok come in. They reduce the need for expensive sensors, offload computing to the vehicle itself, and create a smarter, cheaper, more scalable car. If you had $15,000 in your pocket right now, what would you choose? Comment 1 if you'd go for the new Tesla Model 2 with Smart AI. Grok voice assistant, and a chip Elon Musk is personally overseeing. Comment 2 if you'd stick with a gas car, or maybe just wait it out. If you've made it this far, chances are you value straight-shooting, no-hype EV and tech content, just like we do. 
So why not hit that subscribe button and join us on the road to 5,155 subscribers? Every single sub helps Auto Gear Shift bring you smarter insights, faster. Like the video, ring the bell, and let's keep cutting through the noise together. Why could Grok AI be Tesla Model 2's secret weapon? While headlines focus on the Tesla Model 2's shockingly low $14,999 price point, a quiet but game-changing development is unfolding under the hood, literally. In the latest 2025 R26 update, Tesla has rolled out its new voice assistant, Grok, to current vehicle models. But this is more than just a software update. It's a strategic glimpse into how Tesla plans to deliver a premium, intelligent experience inside its most affordable EV yet. The Model 2 may be priced like a budget car, but thanks to Grok, it won't feel like one. Grok is listening, and it knows it's in a Tesla. What makes Grok different from standard assistants like Siri or Alexa is that it's context-aware. This is the same Grok developed by XAI for use on X and the Grok app, but with vehicle-specific programming. It knows it's running inside a car, and that subtle difference opens the door to a revolutionized user experience. Particularly important for a vehicle aimed at first-time EV buyers and younger tech-forward consumers. Tesla has embedded a custom system prompt into Grok that sets the tone for all interactions before the user even says a word. It's clear, concise, and intentionally human. Grok is told to respond in a clear, friendly tone, using natural language and abbreviations, as if speaking aloud. The goal? Make tech feel invisible and let the conversation feel natural, even while driving. This conversational fluidity is critical for the Model 2's success, especially as it enters a price-sensitive segment where competitors often cut corners on software and user interface design. In contrast, Tesla is using AI to elevate the experience, not just automate it. Grok isn't designed to sound like a machine. Tesla explicitly instructed the assistant to avoid robotic phrasing or mentioning the vehicle unless asked helping users stay immersed in natural dialogue. You won't hear Grok say, the weather outside your Tesla is, unless you ask it to. It adapts to the user's language fluently, without announcing what language it's using. Another clever feature. Tesla has instructed Grok to incorporate random audio cues, like Siri, to boost authenticity. This detail shows Tesla isn't just building an AI assistant. They're benchmarking it against the best in the industry and improving on key UX gaps. More importantly, Grok is built with voice-first functionality in mind. It's told to keep responses short, engaging, and suitable for driving conditions, avoiding long-winded replies. This is crucial in a car like the Model 2, where attention needs to stay on the road, not on a screen. One thing Grok won't do, at least for now, is control any actual vehicle systems. Tesla's system prompt clearly restricts Grok from interacting with music, maps, or any driving controls. This may disappoint some, but it reflects a deliberate safety-first approach as Tesla lays the groundwork for deeper integration in future updates, potentially post-regulatory approval. Still, even without direct control over car systems, Grok stands to add significant perceived value to the Model 2. For $14,999, buyers aren't just getting a functional EV. They're getting a tech-savvy companion that makes the car feel like a miniature AI lab on wheels. With Model 2 set to launch in late 2026 or early 2027, Tesla is preparing to flood the market with millions of affordable EVs. But affordability alone doesn't win in 2025. It's the experience that sells. Grok allows Tesla to deliver a premium feel at a mass market price, bridging the emotional gap between budget pricing and high-tech satisfaction. Combined with the upcoming AI6 chip, which will power onboard AI and self-driving features, Grok makes the Model 2 more than just a cheaper Tesla. It makes it a completely new kind of product. One where the car doesn't just drive, it listens speaks, and adapts. So what do you think?
Will the Tesla Model 2 redefine what a $15,000 car can do? Is Grok just the beginning of a new kind of driver car relationship? And can Apple or any automaker really keep up with Tesla's pace? If you found this video insightful, hit that like button, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and tap the bell icon so you don't miss our next update on EVs, AI, and the future of driving. We'll see you in the next one.